Hi, how are you guys? Um, <clears throat> welcome to a little mid-afternoon class on our regular North page. I hope I am on the right page. Uh, let me know when you guys have logged on. I'm just getting Facebook all set up here. I just have to remember how. <laughs> um, hi, Kathy, how are you? Um, this is gonna be a 30 minute uh, core workout. Um, and it's gonna be great. I'm just gonna get my Facebook up and running. Hey Sam, how are ya? It was nice seeing you last night on the screen. Um, so yeah, so welcome everyone. Um, if you are um, uh, not normally a North at Home member, if you're new to North at Home, if you're new to North Movement Studio in general, um, just say hi, let me know how you're doing, let me know what's going on. Um, this is going to be, uh, like I said, a 30 minute core workout. And one thing that I really like to um, think about when I'm teaching core is that it's not just abs, it's this sort of three-dimensional um, system that really runs through the whole body. So there'll be definitely some ab work, uh, but we'll try to integrate the limbs into that work, um, and we'll try to really make sure that we're getting the spine moving in all direct different directions and um, not just focusing on one direction of ab curls, but lots of different things, lots of different movements. Um, for this class, you don't need any props, um, which is the nice thing. You do need a nice mat to lie on and a little bit of space around you. Um, and that's it. Um, if you have any questions about Pilates or if you have any questions about this workout, feel free to ask them now. Hi, Judith, how are ya? I feel like, I feel like we already saw each other today, didn't we? Didn't we already see each other this morning? Um, what else? Any, any questions? Anything you wanna talk about? Anything going on? Um, we'll wait about one more minute, maybe two, just for other people to join on and get ready. Um, if you are, oh, hi, Sue, how are ya? If you are, um, if you are a not yet a North at Home member, um, this is a nice way to sort of test out North at Home and see what we do. Um, North at Home members uh, get access to all the live stream classes. So we live stream every day, um, Monday to Saturday at 9.30 in the morning. Um, and the classes stay up on Instagram for 24 hours and they stay up on Facebook indefinitely. Um, also there are, there's a growing library of, um, uh, pre-recorded classes. Um, and a lot of the pre-recorded classes are prop and, um, uh, body part specific. So like a ring and roller class or like an all glutes class. So that catalog is growing. And then there's a bunch of screen sharing classes, which are, I mean, I like teaching all these classes, but I really like the screen sharing classes because then I finally get to see you guys, um, which is great for form, for your form, um, and great for me to be able to um, give you personal feedback. Um, so if you have any questions about North at Home, let me know. If you have any questions about anything in general, let me know. Um, we're gonna start in one minute, but now I just feel like I wanna sit here and like, cuddle my cat you know it's so nice the nice part about working from home um, I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna start moving so when you're ready um, you're gonna roll over onto your mat now like I said you don't actually need any props for this um, we're gonna go prop free but focusing a lot on core I feel like you won't be able to see me but I think she's gonna move in about two seconds all right, so, oh my, when you set yourself up here, <clears throat> you're gonna lie with your knees bent, feet flat on the floor. And you're gonna open your arms out to a T, or as best you can, out to a T. Once your arms are out to a T, separate your feet so they're wide apart. And then you're just gonna start to tip both of your knees over one way. Let your hips follow. And then pull your knees straight back to the center. And then tip both of your knees, oh sorry, over the other way. Let your hips follow. And then slowly come back to the center. So if the knees tip to the left, let's turn the head now, head and eyes to look to the right. And then bring that back to the center. As the knees tip to the right, let's turn the head and eyes to look to the left. Mm -hmm. And then bring that back to center. You're going to go side to side a bunch of times, turning your head in opposition of the legs. You're going to inhale as you twist. And then you're gonna exhale to find center. 
Inhale again as you twist. Mm -hmm. And then exhale to find center, just warming up and waking up the whole midsection of the body. And then we'll do it one more time each side. And then you're gonna settle yourself right into the middle. Heel toe your feet so that they're back underneath you. I'm gonna scooch so you can see a little bit better on Facebook. From here, you're gonna bring both of your arms straight up to the ceiling. Start to reach one hand higher to the ceiling. And then you're gonna switch and reach the other hand higher to the ceiling. And you wanna reach from the back of the body. You wanna reach from the ribs. Inhale, reach, and then exhale, return. Inhale, reach, and then exhale, return. Side to side for four. Letting the ribs turn for three, good. Making sure you're breathing two, good. And then the last one, make both arms equally long. Reach both hands back to the wall behind you, and then bend your elbows and slip your hands under your head. Your fingers are going to interlace here at the base of your skull, the back of your head. I'm going to turn so that you can see. I want you to make sure you're holding your head rather than your neck. Keep your hands holding your head. You're going to lift your elbows up a little. Do a little nod of your chin. That's important. So the chin kind of tucks into the top of the throat. And then from the base of your ribs, you're going to pick up your head and curl forward so that you're looking towards your legs. Head is supported by your hands. Collarbones are still broad. Take a breath in with your exhale, curl up a little higher. Inhale back out of your curl just slightly, and then exhale, curl from the base of the ribs again. Inhale to uncurl, and then exhale to recurl. What we're really trying to do here is just find this like pliability of the rib cage. The ribs expand on an inhale, you uncurl. The ribs contract on an exhale, curl higher. Inhale, uncurl and then exhale, recurl. And as you roll through this a couple more times, make sure you're not pulling on the head, make sure you're not just kind of folding at the neck, but again, you're really trying to hinge or curl over the base of the ribs. Now let's add on here, you're gonna curl up and hold, and then you're gonna see if you can lift one foot off of the floor, the leg is in tabletop, knee over hip, lower leg in line with the floor, mm -hmm. and then lower that foot back down. You're gonna curl higher, lift the other foot, mm -hmm. and then lower the foot back down. Let's exhale, lift and curl, good. Inhale to release. Exhale, lift and curl, good. Inhale to release. As you continue to lift and curl here, I want you to make sure your pelvis is staying neutral and you're not flattening your lower back. Sometimes as the leg comes up, we over tuck the tail, the lower back flattens too much. Keep the pelvis neutral, a little bit of space between the back of your belly button and your mat. Next time that you've got one leg lifted, hold it there. Bring the other leg up, hold it there. Start to roll through little curls through your upper abs. Curl, good, and then curl, good, and then curl. If it's too much with both feet lifted, put a foot on the floor. Take a break if you need to for four, three, good, two, and then one. Lower one foot, lower the other, uncurl your spine, and take a little pause. Head comes down to your mat, arms open out to a T. You're gonna open your knees out to their sides and then zip both of your knees right back together. Open your knees out to their sides and then zip both knees back together. A couple more times here. Inhale, open for a stretch and then exhale to close. Inhale, open for a stretch and then exhale, close. Good, and then one more time, open. Let's roll the legs back to parallel and hold. Don't move the legs, allow the curve of your lower back to get a little bigger, and then allow the curve of your lower back to get a little smaller. The curve of your lower back gets bigger, and then the curve of your lower back gets smaller. Inhaling as your tail turns down, and then exhaling as your tail curls up. Inhaling as your tail turns down, and then exhaling as your tail curls up. Rock that a couple more times forward and back, making sure that you're not pushing through pain, but instead allowing this very sort of gentle and natural rock of your pelvis to just wake up and warm up the muscles of the low belly and the low back. And the next time that your pelvis is halfway between the two, hold it there. You wanna think about your hip bones and pubic bone relatively flat at the front, so that's that neutral pelvis. A little bit of a curve in your lower back. Reach your hands back to the wall behind you and then bend your elbows and slip your hands under your head. Same setup as before, fingers interlace at the base of your skull. Lift the elbows, nod the chin, pick up the head, let's curl up again. 
space between chin and chest. Good, little curve in your lower back. Let's roll through those little curls. We just got three. Exhale to curl, good. And then one more, that's already three. Exhale, curl, hold. And no change in the ribs from the bottom of your spine. Turn your tailbone down to the floor a little, and then curl your tailbone up to the ceiling. Turn your tailbone down to the floor a little, and then curl your tailbone up to the ceiling. Inhaling as your tail turns down, and then exhaling as your tail curls up. Inhaling as your tail turns down, good. Exhaling as your tail curls up. Your ribs stay pretty anchored the whole way through. You wanna make sure you're initiating this movement from the bottom of your spine. Next time that your pelvis is halfway between the two, hold it there. Curl a little higher, hold it there. Bring one leg up for tabletop. Bring the other leg up to match. You're gonna glue your feet and knees together. Start to tuck your tail here, turning your tailbone up to the ceiling, rolling your knees to your forehead, and then releasing your legs right back to tabletop. On your exhale, tuck the legs up, mm -hmm. and then inhale to release back slowly. Exhale, tucking up, good, and then inhale to release. Now you can do this with your head down if that feels better to you for whatever reason. I want you to find a really smooth tuck up, good, and then release, good. Exhaling here as you tuck up, good, and then release. If this causes discomfort in your lower back, reduce your range of motion or just skip it all together. We're gonna tuck up for four, good. Making sure that you're breathing for three, good. Try to add like a little pause so you tuck and hold for a sec, good. And we'll just do one more tuck and pause. Roll the legs back to tabletop, one foot to the floor, other foot follows, uncurl the spine, and rest your head. From here, draw the right leg in towards you. Grab hold of the back of that thigh. Get your right foot up to the ceiling. Find a lovely hamstring stretch. Just slide the left leg out to straight so it's out of the way. Your shoulders drop away from your ears. Take a long breath in. And then take a deep breath out. And then from here, find that same nodding of the chin. That just sets the neck for length and the rest of the spine will follow. Pick up your head, push your right leg away from you. Make sure your leg is heavy in your hands as you roll yourself all the way up to sit tall. Now I did that like, you know, I did that pretty well, I'm a professional. Uh, sometimes you get a little stuck, right? You gotta rock and roll, do what you gotta do. I would prefer rocking and rolling than an elbow jab. Not a big fan of the elbow jab, just try to roll straight forward even if you have to use a little momentum. Okay, now sitting up tall here, you're gonna have your legs out long in front of you, arms up to shoulder height, trying to get a little taller through your spine for an inhale. On your exhale here, zip your abs in and start to roll back a little bit. And as you roll back here, you've got your hips and ribs close, kind of like that pelvic tilt we just did. Knees are soft, heels are heavy, eyes are lifted. On an exhale here, drop your spine a little lower. On an exhale again here, drop your spine a little lower. On your exhale here again, drop your spine a little lower, good. And then you're gonna use your abs to come all the way up and I want you to really get that length out of the bottom of your spine, sit tall, I'm gonna take this off, you'll see a little better. Let's do that again, arms up to shoulder height, inhale. On your exhale, tuck your pelvis, start to roll back. Moving from the bottom of your spine, roll lower. Mm -hmm. Exhale again, roll lower, good. Exhale again, roll lower. Now I'm wondering if you could just for fun, exhale, roll a little lower, good. And then it's one big exhale that scoops your abs in, draws the sacrum up and in, and allows you to sit up tall, it's a lot to do. <laughs> Inhale again, let's sit tall. Exhale, tuck your pelvis, move from the bottom of the spine, start to roll back. Heavy through the heels, soft through the knees, rolling lower. Mm -hmm. Rolling lower, good. Rolling lower, let's hold low. So this should be comfortably uncomfortable. Does that make sense? Doably uncomfortable, like hard, but doable. You're gonna drop your spine a little lower and then roll your spine a little higher. It's small, drop a little lower mm -hmm. and then roll a little higher. Heavy heels, drop mm -hmm. and then lift, good. Lifted eyes, drop, good. And then lift, keep it small, down and then up, good. Relax the shoulders, down, good. And then up, let's go up and down here, four, four. How's it going for three, good. Breathing two, if you're lucky, you're getting a little hot. One, drop the shoulders, and now start to go back onto your back, breathing, heavy heels, bone, good. But bone, nice work, guys, but bone. Head comes down, hands go back, take a breath in. Take a breath out. Got a left knee in. Grab hold of the back of the thigh. Long through the legs, drop through the shoulders. 
take a breath in, take a breath out, and then nod the chin into the top of the throat. Pick up your head, push that leg away from you. You're using the weight of that leg to help you roll up to sit. Again, ideally you roll up smoothly and with control, but rock and roll as you need to. Bring yourself straight up to sit tall. Arms come up to shoulder height again. Inhale, get tall. On your exhale, zip your abs in and start to roll back a little. Shoulders away from ears, good. Eyes lifted. Your right hand goes out to the right. You're gonna turn, look at that hand, and then pull that arm back to the center. The left arm goes out to the left. Turn, look at that hand, and then come back to center. Inhale here, turn, twist, open. And then exhale, pull back. Inhale here, turn, twist, open. And then exhale, come back. Inhale, twist, mm -hmm. exhale for center. Inhale, twist and then exhale for center. A couple more times, turn, good, and then center. Breathing again, turn, good, and then center. Let's take the right arm, right hold. Looking at that right hand, I'm gonna move so that you can see that right arm makes a little pulse back. Pulse, good, pulse, good, pulse. Look at the right hand, three, two, one. Sweep it back to center, left arm left. Look at the left hand, pulse back. Pulse, pulse, good. Pulse, shoulders down, eyes looking left, four, three, two, one, so you back to the center, open both arms, start to roll back onto your back, breathing, bone, good, by bone, nice work guys, by bone, all the way back onto your back, so nicely done. Take a breath in, take a breath out, and then bend your knees, feet back to the floor, Hands go back under your head. You're coming back up into that curl. So elbows up, chin in, pick up your head, curl up. Your hands are cradling your head. There's space between chin and chest. Pelvis starts neutral. This time what I want you to do is pull your right hip bone up towards your ribs a little and then return it back to where it was. Slide the left hip bone up to the left ribs and then return it back. Right hip hikes to the right ribs and then left hip hikes to the left ribs. So one side of the waist gets short, mm -hmm. and then the other side of the waist gets short. I'm gonna turn so that you can see. So from, from, uh, from line on your side, I can't do this without moving the leg, but you're gonna shorten one side of the waist, and then shorten the other side of the waist. You won't be moving your legs quite like that, but it's the feeling of the hip to the rib, and then the hip to the rib. Hopefully it feels kinda good. I like it how it feels, okay? Let's switch through the hips for four. Breathing for three. Good. Try to make it as smooth as possible. Two. Good. And then one. We take a pause if you need to. Curl higher if you want to add on. Because now one leg comes up for tabletop. And then the other leg comes up to match. Feet together. Knees together. Curl a little higher. Shorten one side of the waist. Mm -hmm. And then shorten the other side of the waist. So it's the exact same action you just did. Except now your feet are off of the floor. So it's more work for the front of the core. And really more work for the sides of the core. Good. Head is supported by your, uh, I do this every time. Head is supported by your hands. Yes, that was correct. Make sure you're breathing. You're gonna switch and then switch good and then switch. You should feel like good things happening on the sides of your torso. Head down if you need. If the head is still up, just make sure you're not pulling on the neck. Drop through the base of the ribs for four, three, two, and then one, park it in the middle, curl higher in the middle. Don't move your pelvis. One, I had to gotta move one foot slides forward. And then with an exhale, let's switch. And then switch, good. And then switch. Eight, seven, six, anchor the pelvis. Five, curl higher. Four, three, two, and then one, both legs in, both feet to the floor. Pause, stay in the curl. One leg goes long. Other leg follows. Reach forwards with your head. I'm losing the watch here. You're gonna curl up and roll all the way up. That was so nice to sit tall. You're gonna sit up tall, draw the back of the pelvis up and in. How are abs feeling? Present, alive? One more ab curl, let's do it. One more roll back, let's do it. Arms up, inhale. Exhale, tuck your pelvis, start to roll back a little. Hips and ribs close, low tummy muscles pulled in. This time one knee bends, 
other knee bends. How does that feel? More intense, less intense, different intense? I'm on a nice thick mat here. If you need a little extra cushioning underneath your pelvis, put a towel underneath, put a blanket underneath, really tuck the tail, and then option to lift one leg up for tabletop, and then the other. If bending the legs doesn't work for you, if lifting the feet doesn't work for you, find something that works for you. This should feel like good work in the low, low belly. Eyes are lifted, mm -hmm. shoulders away from ears. Wherever you are, let's try lifting both hands up a little and then lowering back down. Let's lift again, both hands up a little mm -hmm. and then back down. Eyes up, you're gonna lift mm -hmm. and then lower. Breathing here as you lift, good, and then lower. Drop the shoulders, lift, mm -hmm. and then lower. How about two more? Up, mm -hmm. and then down, good. And then up, hold, as if you're gonna toss your hands behind you. Lift, and then lift, good, and then lift, good. Eyes up, four. Strong core, three. Mm -hmm. Breathing, two, and then one. Let's plant the feet, good. Lift the hands higher. You're gonna start to roll back onto your back. Breathing here, bone, good. By bone, good. By bone, so nicely done. Go long through the legs. Reach back with the hands. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. And then you're gonna flip on over so that you're lying face down. How are abs feeling? Present, warm, alive? Okay, you're gonna lie flat on your front. We're gonna do a little bit of work for the back of the core, right? We think of core as abs, but really core is three-dimensional front, back, and both sides. So you're gonna set yourself up here with your legs, and you can't see my legs, but my feet are off of my mat. They're wide apart. I'm gonna put my forehead down on my mat, and my arms go up overhead, also wide apart. If you've got shoulder stuff going on, bend the elbows so they're like goalpost arms, and you'll lift from here. Okay, whatever works for you. Forehead down to start. Give your hips a good little wiggle here. Give your legs a little bit of a shake. And then feel for the bones of your pelvis heavy to your mat. Zip your abs in a little. And then all you're going to do from here is lift one straight leg up off of the floor. And then match it with the other arm off of the floor. And then lower that back down. On an exhale, you're going to lift one straight leg and the opposite arm, and then lower that all back down. Now you're gonna go side to side a bunch of times. I know you really can't see much if you're looking at the screen here, but as you lift, you wanna make sure your hips are not rocking. You wanna make sure that your ribs are not rolling, and that you're really just finding this very deliberate lift from the backs of the limbs. How's it going? Let's lift with control, and then lower. Same again, lift with control, and then lower. It's opposite arm and leg. We'll add on in a sec, take it or leave it. As you lift the arm and leg, do you wanna hover your head and chest, and then lower back down. Lift the arm and leg, hover the head and chest, and then lower back down. Lift, peeling the spine up, and then lower back down. Lifting, peeling the spine up, and then lower back down. Make sure you're not pressing into the hand and foot that are on the floor, but instead you're contracting from the back of the leg, the back of the pelvis, the back of the arm and shoulder, and a diagonal line that runs through the back of the torso. Let's roll through the last four here. Exhale as you lift, and then inhale to lower. Exhale to lift and then inhale to lower. And then one more to each side, feeling that work through the back of the body. So important any day, but extra important these days. Lower that all down, and then use your hands to push yourselves up onto all fours. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, round your back, drop your head, look at your legs, so nice, hey? And then reverse the curve of your spine and slowly go the other way. On an exhale, again, round your back, drop your head. On an inhale, again, reverse the curve of your spine and go the other way. One more time each way like this. And then next time that your spine is halfway between the two, let's pause. I think you need to slide your left leg out to long, lift it up in line with your spine. 
and then take the right hand forward, lift it up in line with your spine. From here, you're gonna bend the knee, bend the elbow, bring them underneath you to touch. As you do that, round your back, so you get a really nice stretch to the back of the torso, and then extend the leg to long. I have to fix this hair situation. Extend the leg to long, reach the hand up, but lift the eyes, chin and chest so the back is arched. You're gonna round the back, tuck your limbs back underneath you, and then you're gonna arch your spine, extend your spine, lift the hand, lift the foot. I'm gonna move so you can see a little better. Tucking under, mm -hmm. and then lifting and extending. Tucking under, good. And then lifting and extending. Let's do that one more time. We're gonna exhale, tuck really around the back, and then inhale, arch, extend the spine, good. Tuck the limbs back underneath you, round your back, and roll all the way up oh, to kneel tall. Oh, Tom my hair up. Knees, hips, and shoulders all stack up. You're gonna take both of your hands and just put them on the top of your head. Rise up into your hands and get really tall through your spine. Without moving the pelvis, turn your ribs a little one way, and then turn your ribs a little the other way. Top of the head grows up. Inhales, you twist, and then exhale for center. Inhale to twist and then exhale for center. And this is such a small little move, but the mobility of your rib cage is so crucial for good posture and for a good core connection. So this is one of my favorite ways of working the core because it really focuses on that three-dimensional core contraction. One more to each side. Take your time though. Inhale for the twist and then exhale center. Inhale for the twist, and then exhale center, good. And then come back to the center, hands to the ceiling. Dive your hands down to your mat. Second side, it's gonna be the right leg that goes long, bring it up in line with your spine. The left hand that goes forward, bring it up in line with your spine. Now bend the knee, bend the elbow, round the back, flex your spine, and then extend the arm, extend the leg, peel up eyes, chin and chest. Exhale as you tuck underneath, you flex the spine. Inhale as you lengthen, reach long through the lips. Exhale to tuck, and then inhale to lift. A couple more times. Let's do one more. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, reach, good. And then tuck back underneath you, turn your toes under. Let's come up into a downward facing dog. I'll move so that you can see hands press down, hips go up and back, take a breath in, and then take a breath out. Just for fun, take one leg here, kick it up to the ceiling, Turn your hips open. You can bend that knee if that feels good to you. Try to turn the pelvis a little bit more. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. And then slide that leg back underneath you. Same thing, second side. Take the leg up. Mm -hmm. Turn the hips open. Bend the knee if that feels good to you. And just hold and breathe. And then at the end of the next exhale, take that foot back down to the floor. And then from here, you're gonna walk your hands back towards your feet and just transition into a standing forward bend. A little pause off of your hands. Again, I'll move so that you can see. The head is heavy. Mm -hmm. Your neck is long. You can take your hands to the base of your skull and just very gently pull on the back of your head. And then let your hands come down. Soften your knees, and you're gonna walk forward onto all fours. I'm gonna walk back so that you can see, but come down onto all fours. And then once you're down on all fours, you're gonna come down onto your forearms. Now in this position, I want you to set yourself up so that your forearms are as parallel as possible. So not hands together, forearms as parallel as possible. It creates this little external rotation of the shoulders, which is just good for posture and all that good stuff. Okay, so broad through the collarbones, down through the elbows, turn your toes under, push into your hands, and hover your knees a couple inches off of your mat. You're gonna hover and hold for five, Breathing here for four. How's it going for three? Good. Breathe for two. And then one, lower the knees back down. 
Reset, shake out the shoulders, do what you gotta do. Let's do it again. Hands down, good. Forearms parallel, pull the ribs up a little so it's a little extra work through core. Hover up and hold. Now take it or leave it. You're gonna take one foot, tap it to the back of your mat. Step that leg back in. Other foot taps to the back of your mat and then step it back in. Tapping back and then in. Other side, tapping back and, and then in. Now if you really don't like being down on your elbows and there's some people who prefer straight arms, go for it, that's fine with me. Wherever you are, let's tap for four. Breathing here for three. Strong core for two, good. And then last one, tap it in, good. Lower the knees, good. Round your back and roll on up. Knees, hips and shoulders all stack up. Bring both of your arms forwards and up. Lift your eyes, chin and chest, and then exhale, circle around. Same again, inhale, arms come up, look up, exhale, circle around. One more time here, let's open up the front of the body, inhale, and then exhale, circle around. Gnaw the chin, roll back down through your spine. Drop down onto your elbows, and we're going right back into that forearm plank. I guess that was a bit of a spoiler. It's full plank this time. Hands down, pull the ribs up, turn the toes under, hover your knees and hold. One leg steps back so it's straight, other leg steps back so it's straight. You're gonna hold and breathe. And we're gonna be here for a while. I'm gonna talk, feel free to listen, feel free to take a break, do what works for you. The idea of staying here a little longer is that it's just an invitation to push yourself a little further. Don't push through pain, but try to push through fatigue. Elbows pushing down, ribs lifted, legs straight, heels push back. Hold the lift of the ribs. This is the best slash hardest part. Your breastbone, the center of your chest, Lengthen it slightly forward to the wall in front of you. Hold and breathe. Mm -hmm. And then hold and breathe. Take a break when you need to. Take a pause, come back in. <laughs> hold and breathe. And then a hold and breathe. Active through the legs, long through the spine. So much good core work. Let's hold for three. Two, and then one, now here's the thing, one hand comes to the floor, mm -hmm. other hand comes to the floor, that's a nice way to end a forearm plank, okay? Send the hips off to the ceiling, nice work guys, downward facing dog. Hands pressing down, good, hips high, tread out through your feet, I'll move so that you can see one knee bends, mm -hmm. and then the other knee bends. We're gonna switch for four, mm -hmm. breathing for three, good, for two, and then one. Soften both knees. Walk the hands back to your feet. Drop your head, drop your hands for a tiny little pause here. Head is heavy, mm -hmm. spine is long. We're gonna walk forward into one more downward facing dog with one last little piece of work. It's the last piece of work for today. Hands pressing down. Right leg is gonna sweep up to the ceiling. We did it before, right leg up, lift it up as high as you can. Can you see that on Facebook? I think you can. From here, you're gonna bend the right knee, swing the knee to the chest, pull forward into a high plank. The knee is up as high as possible, the ribs are up as high as possible, and then we're gonna sweep that leg back up to the ceiling, whatever that looks like for you. With your exhale, pull forward, knee to chest, and then inhale, and so sweep the leg up high. We've got one more, we're gonna pull Pull forward and hold. The knee is up high, the ribs are up high, the head drops a little. Hold three, two, one. Step it back. Take a break off of your hands if you need to. When you're ready, second side, that left leg swings up and then you're gonna pull forward, swing the left knee to the chest. Drop the head, pull the knee higher, even pull the foot higher. Sweep the leg back and then exhale, pull Pull forward, find that high plank. On an inhale, send the bum back, kick the leg high. On the exhale, this is the third one, so we'll pull it in, hold. Hold three, two, one. Step back to a downward facing dog. Walk your feet up to your hands. Roll your hands back to your feet. Drop your head and hold here. Head is heavy, mm -hmm. arms are relaxed, 
bend both knees a little deeper and then straighten both legs a lot and then bend both knees a little deeper and then straighten both legs a lot and then one more time bend both knees keep that generous bend in your knees soften your knees a little more as you start to restack your spine and roll up from your tail through your lower back mid back upper back neck and head when you get to the top chart a long line heels through hips through top of head roll your shoulders up to your ears and then let your shoulders fall down your back. Roll your shoulders up to your ears and then drop your shoulders down your back. One more time, inhale, bring them up. One more time, exhale, drop them down. Take one more full breath in. Take one more deep breath out. And then give everything a little bit of a shake. How? are you feeling uh excellent work today guys that was just like you know quick little lab work hope you liked it nice way to get your core all fired up on a tuesday thursday on this day um if you have any questions let me know otherwise um hopefully we'll see you at then on the um north at home pages okay have a great day guys bye